Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dorotea, I'm crochet designer and blogger. I make step-by-step -step tutorials, talk about yarn and share tips and tricks for crocheters. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you won't miss any of my future videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute crochet baby top. I will explain all the important stitches and techniques that you have to know so you can make this baby top from start to finish. You can find the written instructions for this baby top on my blog crobypatterns.com and for those who prefer to work offline there is an inexpensive beautifully designed pdf pattern with one additional size available in my pattern shops on Etsy, Raverly and Love Crochet. You can find the links to my blog and shops in the description box below. Now that you know more about my channel and where to find my written instructions let me show you what you will need for this tutorial. First off, you will need some yarn, iron weight yarn for the main part and DK weight yarn for the lacy part on the top. You will also need a crochet hook, 3.5mm crochet hook for the lacy part and 4.0mm crochet hook for the rest of the shirt. Then you will need a pair of scissors for cutting off the remaining yarn ends, stitch markers which are more of a personal thing than a must-have. You will also need a yarn needle and a few sewing pins. I keep mine in this adorable donut that I've made a while back, so if you are interested in making one for yourself, I will include the link to the video tutorial and a written pattern in the description box below. Now that you have all the materials you need, let's start with the tutorial. We will start with the main part. For this part, we will need some of the iron weight yarn and 4mm crochet hook. Create a slip knot. Insert the hook into the loop. And create a foundation chain made of 66 chains. Now that the chain is complete, join the chain with a simple slip stitch. Make sure you do not twist the chain because that might cause us some problems later. Now chain 1 to lift our row to a proper height. This and all the following rounds on the main part are made of half double crochet stitches. So you have to yarn over first. Then insert the hook into the loop. Grab the yarn and pull it through. You have 3 loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over again and pull the loop through all the remaining loops on your crochet hook. Continue working one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around, so 66 stitches in total. The only exception is our slip stitch, which is just a joining stitch and does not count as a stitch in the pattern. This means that you have to skip it each round and each round create a new one to join that round. This is the slip stitch that I was talking about, we will skip it and we will join this round with a new one. 
all the following rounds are exactly the same as this first one so you can go back and watch how to do it as many times as you need every round starts with chain one to lift the round one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around so 66 stitches in total and ends with a slip stitch made into the very first stitch of the round all you have to do now is to repeat that round 17 more times. When you complete all the rounds, so 18 rounds if you also count this first one we made together, continue with the tutorial where I will show you what you will have to do next. I'm ending my last round now. I will join the round with a slip stitch. Now take the scissors, cut the yarn and pull the loop through. Take the hook and pull the yarn and through the last stitch of the round. You can mark your slip stitch with a stitch marker just so you will know where it is because you will have to skip it. Otherwise you will end up with one additional stitch in your next row. As you might know it's really hard to hide the seam. Even though you are very careful and all your slip stitches are really nice and tight, that's why I usually end the segment where I cut the yarn, twist the fabric a bit so the seam goes along the side of the body and not directly on the front or back of your piece. I personally prefer it that way but you can also keep it on the back if you want, it's entirely up to you. Let's continue with the middle part. Insert the hook into the stitch that is somewhere in the center of the front side of the shirt. Attach the yarn and chain one. Work one half double crochet into the next one and those two stitches, so chain one and half double crochet one, count as a decrease in the pattern. So if you're using stitch markers as I do here, insert a stitch marker on the top of the half double crochet stitch and not into the chain. Now work one half double crochet into each of next 62 stitches. Join last two stitches of the row with half double to together stitch. This stitch is very similar to the basic half double crochet stitch, just that you have to add one additional stitch to the mix, which means before your last yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook, insert the hook into the stitch that is right next to the one you've already used, pull the yarn through and now make your last yarn over and pull the loop through all the remaining loops on your crochet hook. And that's it. Your first row is now complete. Let's start with a new one. Chain 2. Work one double crochet into the first one. So yarn over, pull the loop through the stitch. Yarn over again and pull the loop through first two loops. Yarn over again and pull the loop through all the remaining loops on your crochet hook. And that's your first double crochet stitch. The next stitch is half double three together stitch. It's very similar to the half double two together stitch, just that you have to add one additional stitch and join all three into one. Now work one half double crochet into each of next 56 stitches.
join next three with a half double three together stitch and work one double crochet into the last one Row 3, start with chain 2, turn the row, work 1 double crochet into the first one, join next 3 with half double 3 together stitch, Work one half double crochet into each of next 52 stitches. Join next 3 stitches with a half double 3 together stitch. And work 1 double crochet into the last one. And our middle part is now complete. Do not cut the yarn just yet, I will show you what to do next in just a second. I am inserting the stitch marker into my last stitch just so I don't lose any of my stitches. As you can see here, we are already getting this nice V-shaped cut on the front of our top, which is actually just a base for our V-shaped panel that we will create and insert later. So the next step is to make two small triangles that we will create on the top of the shirt. The first one will be made from where we just finished and for the next one we will cut the yarn and create a mirror shape on the opposite side of the triangle that we will make first. Let's start with the upper part. Chain 2 and turn your work. Work one double crochet into the first one. Join next 3 stitches with a half double crochet 3 together stitch. Work 1 half double crochet into each of next 6 stitches. and join last 2 stitches with a half double 2 together stitch. Chain 1 Now turn the row Join first two with a half double two together stitch. Work one 
work one half double crochet into each of next three stitches Draw an next 3 stitches with a half double 3 together stitch and work 1 double crochet stitch into the last one What we will do now is we will join all 6 stitches into one stitch and for that we will use 4 different stitches. Don't worry if you haven't done this before I will help you go through the process. We will start with the tallest stitch first and join 2 triple crochets, 2 double crochet stitches, 1 half double crochet stitch and 1 single crochet stitch all into one stitch. The trick is that you have to stop working on the stitch right before your last yarn over and pull through. So right before you finish the stitch and then you have to start with a new one. When you collect all the stitches on your crochet hook, just yarn over and pull the loop through all the loops on your crochet hook and finish the stitch. Now let's go step by step. Chain 3. Turn the row. We will start with triple crochet stitch, so yarn over two times. Insert the hook into the stitch. Yarn over and pull the loop through. Yarn over again and pull the loop through first two loops on your crochet hook. You have three loops on your crochet hook at the moment. Yarn over again, pull the loop through two loops on your crochet hook and at this moment we are one yarn over and pull through away to the end of the complete triple crochet stitch. And this means we have to stop now and continue with the next stitch. The next stitch is triple crochet stitch again, so yarn over two times, insert the hook into the stitch, Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull the loop through first two loops. Yarn over, pull the loop through first two loops on your crochet hook. Next stitch is double crochet stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch. Yarn over and pull the loop through. Yarn over again and pull the loop through two loops on your crochet hook. Again, we are one yarn over and pull through away to the end of the complete double crochet stitch. So this means we have to stop now and continue with the next stitch. Double crochet stitch again. So yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch. Yarn over and pull the loop through. Yarn over, pull the loop through two loops on your crochet hook. And let's continue with half double crochet stitch. So yarn over. Insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull the loop through. You have more loops on your hook than usual, but because we are one yarn over and pull through away to the end of the complete half double crochet stitch, we have to stop now and start with our last stitch. So our last stitch in this line is single crochet stitch. So insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull the loop through. You are almost done. All you have to do now is yarn over and pull the loop through all the remaining loops on your crochet hook. Cut the yarn, fasten off and hide all the yarn tails between the stitches. The first triangle is now complete. Go on to the opposite side and attach the yarn in the 12 stitch from the end of the row.
chain one and work one half double crochet into the next one. Those two stitches count as a decrease in the patterns, so I am marking my half double crochet stitch and not the chain. Work one half double crochet into each of next six stitches. Half double 3 together stitch to join the next 3. And finish the row with a double crochet stitch. Row 2, chain 2 and 1 double crochet into the first one. Join the next 3 stitches with a half double 3 together stitch. And work one half double crochet into each of next three stitches. And the row with a half double to together stitch. Row 3 is very similar to the row 3 from the first triangle, but it's a mirror shape. We have to join all 6 stitches together into one stitch. This row starts with chain 1, because if you remember, the first stitch on the previous triangle was the tallest one. And we need the mirror shape of that stitch, so we will start this one with the smallest stitch of the decrease, so single crochet stitch. Let's start with the single crochet. Insert the hook into the stitch and pull the loop through. The next one is half double crochet stitch. So yarn over first, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over again and pull the loop through. The next two in line are double crochet stitches. So yarn over first, insert the hook into the loop and pull the yarn through. Yarn over and pull the loop through first two loops on your crochet hook. Let's make one more. So yarn over first, insert the hook into the loop and pull the yarn through. Yarn over and pull the loop through first two loops on your crochet hook and double crochet is complete. The next two stitches are triple crochet stitches, so yarn over twice, insert the hook into the stitch and pull the loop through. Yarn over and pull the loop through first two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull the loop through first two loops on your crochet hook again. This is your last triple crochet stitch. Yarn over twice. Insert the hook into the stitch and pull the yarn through. Yarn over and pull the loop through first two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over again and pull the loop through first two loops on your crochet hook again. And 
and the crease is almost complete. All you have to do now is yarn over and pull the loop through all the remaining loops on your crochet hook. Then cut the yarn, pull the loop through and hide the yarn tail between the stitches. And your second triangle is now complete. The next thing that we have to make is the V-shaped panel that we will later attach to the top, right in between those two triangles that we've just made. Take some yarn in the main collar and 4mm crochet hook, make a slip knot, Insert the hook into the loop and create a foundation chain made of 26 chains. Turn and start in the second chain from the hook, work one single crochet into each of next 12 stitches, Now create one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet again into the same chain. I always mark my chains between two single crochet stitches because you will have to work around the chain in the next row and it's so easy to lose the chain between the single crochet stitches, especially because single crochet stitches are very small and very close together. Now work one single crochet into each of next 12 stitches. Row 2 Chain 1 Turn Work 1 single crochet into each of next 13 stitches Work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet again around the chain one space from the previous row.
work one single crochet into each of next 13 stitches. Row 3, chain 1, then turn, work 1 single crochet into each of next 14 stitches, Work 1 single crochet, 1 chain and 1 single crochet again around the chain 1 space from the previous row. Work 1 single crochet into each of next 14 stitches. Then cut the yarn, pull the yarn tail through the loop to secure the stitch. Now let's join all the pieces together. Take the V-shaped panel that we've just made and slide it between two triangles on the top of the shirt. Turn the top inside out Take some sewing pins, align both parts, the top and the V-shape panel and join them together with some sewing pins. Take a small amount of yarn and a yarn needle and sew both pieces together. My favorite sewing stitch is a blanket stitch, I use it all the time, but you can use any sewing technique or stitch you prefer as long as all the pieces are carefully joined together. Turn the shirt inside out. Our next step is to create straps and the edging around the upper part of the shirt. Take three stitch markers, you can also use three short strings of yarn in a contrasting color. Attach one to each pointy part on a V-shaped panel. Attach the third one under the right armpit. I will attach mine right next to the stitch we used for the triangle part.
Take a small amount of yarn, attach it to the stitch under the right armpit marked with a stitch marker. Use 4mm crochet hook and work half double crochet stitches evenly up to the next stitch marker. Work one half double crochet into the stitch with a stitch marker, but leave the stitch marker attached to the stitch because we will need it later. Create a chain made of 22 chains or as many chains as you need. The length of the chain represents the final length of the strap. Turn, start in the second chain from the hook and work one half double crochet into each of next 22 chains. Work one half double crochet into the middle of the half double crochet. Work one half double crochet into the stitch mark with the stitch marker. You can now remove the stitch marker. Continue with the half double crochet stitches. Skip one stitch in the middle of V shaped panel. Continue working half double crochet stitches up to the next stitch marker. Repeat all the steps for the second strap. The stitches for the left and right strap are exactly the same. You can go back and watch that part of the tutorial as many times as you need. Continue working half double crochet stitches evenly around the top of the shirt all the way around. Join the round with a simple slip stitch. Cut the yarn fast enough and hide the yarn end between the stitches.
Now we are going to attach the strap to the back of the shirt. Find two stitches on the back of the shirt that are 10 stitches apart to each other. Take two stitch markers, insert one stitch marker into each stitch. Turn the shirt inside out. Take a small amount of yarn and a yarn needle and attach each strap to three stitches. Repeat the steps for the second strap. Turn the shirt inside out. Our final step is the lace that we will later attach to the front part of the shirt. Take a small amount of yarn in a contrasting color and 3.5 mm crochet hook and create a foundation chain made of 29 chains. Start in the second chain from the hook Work one single crochet into each of next 28 stitches. Row 2, chain 2, turn the row, work 2 double crochet stitches into the same stitch, Skip two stitches and create a simple slip stitch into the third one. Repeat the sequence three more times, so four times all together. Skip two, slip stitch into the third. Create two chains, two double crochet stitches into the same stitch, skip two and create a slip stitch into the third one. Repeat the sequence three more times. Cut the yarn and fasten off, but leave a long tail for sewing. Align both parts, we shaped part on the top with the lace and attach the lace on the inner side of the top with the sewing pins. Turn the shirt inside out, 
attach the lace to the shirt with a few simple sewing stitches. Cut the yarn and hide the yarn tail between the stitches. You can even cut the yarn end on the lace shorter and attach the lace to the shirt with the main collar if you prefer it that way. I really like how you can see the stitches, I think they are a nice decoration to the shirt. Turn the shirt right side out and your shirt is complete. Okay guys, that would be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the post notifications so you won't miss any of my future videos, especially because I don't have any specific schedule of uploading. My videos take quite a lot of time to film and edit and I post them as soon as they are ready, but that might be every week or every two weeks, sometimes even longer. Let me know what would you like to see next in the comments below, as well as if you have any questions about the pattern or tutorial itself. Share your work using hashtag Groby patterns if you use any of my tutorials or patterns. I always love to see how creative you all are. Have a wonderful day, happy crocheting and until next time, bye!